Welcome back to episode 50 of the Director's Challenge. Episode 50, what a bit, what a milestone. And we've managed to win absolutely nothing. Not so great, eh? Um, today we have Arsenal Man United, so a nice big team special milestone episode. I'm sure it will go swimmingly. We're only playing Arsenal Man United. Whatever goes wrong when we play those guys. So, we have at the end of the transfer window to bring you today those two games. But let's get into the schedule first and show you what happened. So, we left you after the Tottenham game. The 2-0 loss. Harry Kane again scoring. I can't stop him. We then went to Swansea. We won 4-0. So, we had Casper Dolberg, Jordan Williams and Joe Linton scoring the goals. Um, Casper Dolberg doing brilliantly for us. We then went to we had Brentford away and we lost 3-0. That was a bit of a shock. We then... Bucked our ideas up. Went and just managed to beat him 4-2. I think it was after extra time it was. John oh, John Swift. I'm not sure if you've seen John Swift. Coming on and scoring in the 119th minute. Right at the very end. To bring us where to where we are now. The home game against Arsenal. Which we're comfortable with. The away game being the problem. Again, away form. Not being so great for us. So we're going to have to look at that tactic. We I did film the transfer deadline day. Just to give you an idea of what it's like. When you are sitting and playing as a, the West, as, as a manager when you don't have control of the transfers because essentially transfer deadline day is horrible you don't know who's going to go out and who's going to come in so I will play that for you now and then see you back after that okay here we are transfer deadline day I thought this is usually when the fun stuff happens so I will bring you know the highlights of transfer deadline day my reactions to the transfers as they happen so transfer deadline is tonight on, Mon on the 31st Monday the 31st so let's run through. We've got the first lot of news items. And I can see a horrible one right here. So we have made an offer for Fatih Atlan from God knows where they are. Let's have a look at him. 19 year old striker, false nine. Also a complete forward, so fits in. Not great stats, good physicals. Real good physicals, work rate. Mm. Determination, terrible. Okay, good, only worth that much. Interesting buy. Another striker. Ashley Fletcher's gone out on loan. Oh, Everton make. I know my bed. This is the one I was looking at. Why has he accepted an £11 million bid for Joshua Nomar? We paid more than that for him, didn't we? We, oh, we paid £11 million for him from Tottenham. We need him. We've just lost to Bolas. Why would he go and sell a Neymar for that amount of money? That is... Not good. We're not having Queen go out on loan. Okay. The Atlan deal has been considered. Oh, look, it's gone. It's gone. Oh, Fata Atlan's gone to Paris Saint Germain. So we haven't got him. And Noah has gone to Everton. Oh, no. That leaves a hole in our midfield. 23 year old Joshua Noah gone to Everton. I mean, his stats wise, he didn't actually look that good, did he? Oh, worth 18 million now. Oh, why did they do this to me? So we've just lost another central midfielder. So Assassin's Fletcher out. So we're expecting some central midfielders to come in today because we need some. If you look at the squad, actually, let's look at the tactics. So we've got Pyatt who shouldn't be playing there now. We're we're missing an attacking playmate, a really good advanced playmaker. We've got Domingos who's young who needs to come in there, but. We've got no, we've got these three, no one here, no real backup. Uh, okay, no, let's not worry about that. Oh, next hour passes. 9.25 million, what an idiot. Um, okay, Nuno Liao's gone out on loan as well. Ben Beck's gone out on loan. Nikos Vavoros, Olympiakos, look at that, four and a half star. Hello. 20 year old, deep line playmaker, box to box midfielder, another one for that, that role. Not an advanced playmaker, but look at that, work rate 17, determination 18, teamwork 19. What's his leadership? Oh, only 13. He could be a good one for the future. Vavoros from Olympiakos. 20 year old wonder kit is considering the offer. Okay, there we go. Offer has been accepted. Favoros is coming, the 20 year old wonder kid. Okay, that's not bad. That's not a bad little replacement. 16 million. All right. 
there we go. West Ham signed a 20 year old Wonder Kid. Another Wonder Kid brought in. Good bit of business there by the. Uh, oops, send him on. Language course. Good bit of business there by the director of football. Still not happy about any Noma or Sabolas, but that's a good bit in. Another Wonder Kid. Another youngster, though. Oh, hello. Nicholas Kakera. Another striker. Not sure we need another striker, but complete forward. So you fit in the system fast. Stats could grow. 23. I'm not so sure he's going to be so good considering the offer. Let's see if this one goes through. Accepted. Is that going to sign? He's very busy, this transfer window. And he's set to sign. There we go. Nicholas Kakera. 23 year old striker. Potential to be a quality player. Valued at 15 million now. Three current star current ability, three and a half star potential, very quick, good determination, which is always good. Rest of the stats to be worked on, but not a bad little backup for that striker position. Got a lot, they've got four good players there now Dolberg, Souza, Old Linton, and uh, this new guy now. Very nice. Oh, John Swift, mm, two and a half star potential to go up. Is he English? Yeah, he's English. 25, deep line playmaker. I mean, he'd give us the, the depth we need, but stats-wise, isn't great. For a 25-year-old as well, he's made better purchases. Theophile Catherine. They want him on loan. The John Swift offer has been accepted. And we have agreed a deal. West Ham signed John Swift, 25-year-old midfielder. Good rotation option, the fans think. Not bad again. Plays that advanced, make a deep line playmaker. Can do box to box, possibly. Solid stats. Average stats. Yeah, probably won't get too many games for us. Not a good, not a perfect purchase. Not considering we lost Sabolas and Neymar, and he's brought in that one good central midfielder. We're supposed to be improving the quality of the team. And that's the transfer window roundup. We were the biggest spenders, 99 million. So let's have a look at the squad then. Ability-wise, who we brought in? So here we go. Nikos Favoros, best buy there. Come in, Rudy Anson and Nikos Favoros, and Souza, three best players at the club now. So he's done a good bid. Let Joel Linton in bio. He's brought some good players in. Where's the other ones he's brought in? Oh God, John Swift down here with Rossiter. Again, I'd rather play Rossiter than Swift. Maybe not so good. And also that striker, Nicholas Kakera. Let's have a look at potential. Yeah, so he's not even up here. Where is he? Ugh. Some dodgy buys at the end there. But that wraps up the transfers. I will take you back into the game now. Okay, so that was a lot of fun, wasn't it? Seeing, you know, the best players go out. Joshua and Nomar. Nine point what was that? Nine point two five million he went for. It was just ridiculous. No reason to sell him. Sold him for a loss. I have no idea what director football was thinking on that one. Um and then we've let a couple of guys go out on free transfer and the other ones, but that was a big shock. We were looking after, especially after losing Sabolos, to then go and sell a Neymar as well was ridiculous. But he has brought in some decent players. So this Nikos Vaveros from Olympiacos for 16 million, 20 year old. I mean, he he looks good. He looks good. Best players in the club he's brought in over this transfer period now with Rudy Janssen and Miguel Souza coming in earlier in the, in the season. We've got. Um, Caraca as well, potential, good potential to be a, um, a quality striker, but at the moment, not so great. And then John Swift, no idea why he's brought this guy in. Three star, three star, 25 year old midfield, just a backup. I'm assuming he's a backup. After getting rid of an Omar, we brought in Faveros, and then we've got Swift as a backup. So, let's have a look at the team. We've got, we're still going with the the two strikers which is good we'll stick with that now especially now we've got decent real decent backups and youth prospects coming for younger prospects coming through i just want to work out whether i see Viveros isn't fit so we don't want to bring him in straight away but i kind of do we've got john swift coming straight in and it's just whether on the away formation i think this is the way formation i put together to to take on that brentford team the second time around so we've gone for more we've got more direct passing here work the ball into the box Playing fairly balanced on standard with the away formation where instead of working into the box, hitting crosses early, um, closing down a bit more. So 
we are at home we've all played the home formation and I just want to check the team so let me just tinker and I'll be back to you in a second right okay so this is the team we're going to go with for Arsenal we've got Odero in goal we've got Cresswell at left back Saar and Ogbein across the middle Williams right back Janssen, Swift and then Bayo across the middle Payet in that attacking midfield role with Dolberg and Joe Linden up front F fitness I mean is a bit of a worry for us we've been playing too many games back to back and that extra time against Brentford we didn't really need did we that Payet role is still a difficult one I'm really not sure what to do because I mean, he's going to have to play in there we just don't have the um, we don't have someone else to come in I really needed Sabolas in here. And especially with Anomar leaving, he was the backup for that. We've then brought in... The rest of the guys we've brought in are all midfield centres. Mbeo. Yeah, Mbeo, Janssen, Faveros, all central midfielders. So we've got Domingos Quina, who will be bringing in and playing to try and bring up. But he's got a way to go to get to the level of old Dimitri. So God knows what we're going to do. But we'll go for this against Arsenal. Let's see how it goes. Home formation... Bonner taking the captain's armband. So we know the problem makers. The same problem makers as always. Sanchez out there. So I think last time we got away with Sanchez by not tight marking him. And if we close down Ertzil. Oh, Volland's always a pain as well. Well, let's go with that. Let's go for a pick up where he left off last time. Because apparently beating Brentford after extra time is good for morale. Who'd have thought it? Ah, the game is underway. We kick off playing at home right let's see how this goes I'm going to watch with direct passing whether we need to actually feel like maybe direct passing isn't required as much with this formation playing through the centre but we'll see how we go we'll watch the percentages Bellerin took the ball here first ball in oh Lukaku smashes the post that's a warning sign we're not doing a great job of possession here I'm going to drop it down to mixed passing Bonner clears right and Bayo's picked up the ball can he lay it off we've got two strikers Joe Linton's on the ball can he put something in and can Dolberg make it oh that was close I thought Dolberg had that one then Arsenal come away and Janssen gets back and makes that tackle lovely job Odero big ball up to Joe Linton doesn't make it bloody hell this is going to be backwards and forward Dolberg on the ball uses Janssen and Bayo we've got three in front of him now he gets shut out Williams has got the ball Using Bayo again. Payet. And Payet scores. 1-0. Come on. Eight shots. Three on target. Dimitri Payet. 33-year-old Dimitri Payet. Still doing the business. So you see the ball pinged around here. Williams managed to pick up. And Bayo then threads it through. Somehow they got to Payet. And he slots it past the goalie. 1-0. Now Arsenal have gone straight on to attack him. And I'm reluctant to change right that's good let's keep them going let's keep them on calm give the fans a performance I don't want to use complacency because their morale is still not great in the moment Sanchez picks up the ball here can we shut him down Volland Cresswell makes a tackle lovely Dolberg he's laid it off to Payet Payet can he lay it off again he has Joe Linton takes a shot from range not good enough Joe Linton not having a great game at the moment might well be worth bringing him off. As we make. Oh, we got the ball there. That was lovely. And Bayo plays a lovely ball to Joe Linton. Can he cross it? He can. And Dolberg puts it away. I'll take that back. Old Joe can stay on. Casper Dolberg gets another goal. Linton sent it up. 2 0 against Arsenal. So Joe Linton here, as you can see, runs down to the byline. Cuts it across. Dolberg back post. A lovely job. 2 0 against Arsenal at home. Cannot complain. Arsenal still on attacking, but only having that one shot on target. Right, let's watch the conditions now. We may have to bring some players off towards the 70-minute mark. Because they weren't all fit to start with, but look at them, everyone having a fairly decent game. Okay, 70 minutes has come around. I'm going to do one thing that I haven't done for a while. Check... Okay, who's making the mistakes? Right, here's my mistakes. I only want to see West Ham's mistakes. Who's making the most? Just by scan. Oh, actually, I want to do it on player, don't I? On team players. Um, mistakes. Okay. So, is anyone... 
coming up with too many. Cresswell. Okay, Cresswell Williams not doing great. Ogbonna. Okay, not too many that I need to worry about. Just wanted to check before I make subs whether someone's clearly having a bad game and I need to bring them off. I think we're okay with that. All right, let's go to pitch. We're going to bring off Mbeo, I think. Yeah, let's give... Oh, so Mbeo's playing as a box-to-box, -box, right? Veros, deep line playmaker. Let's bring on Rossiter. Slightly more defensive box-to-box -box player. We'll leave the defenders for now. We've got Oxford on the bench, but Oxford sometimes makes mistakes a bit against those big teams. Oh, we'll leave it for now. We'll go for that. Fresh legs in the middle. Ten minutes to go. Can we hold on? That looks like the last highlight, doesn't it? Oh, Derry collects. Do we just boot it away? You've got ten seconds. Cresswell, Saar. Is this going to be just the end highlight? Or are we actually going to come away with this? He's managed to find Payet. Oh, we could have got something there. 2-0. It's finished. West Ham Arsenal. What a victory. I think we can be pleased. Of course we can be pleased. Moves up to 10th. Arsenal actually down in 15th. I know we're only six games in, but that was a lovely performance. Payet there. Still showing he has value. Lovely job. West Ham take the spoils. Bonner man of the match. Well, I never. Something happened to him when he was away for that year. So what have we got? Man United in seven days, hopefully. I'll have a little tweak with the formation. I'll have a look at that away formation. And try and come up with something slightly different to use against United. And imagine United are top. Oh, second in the Premier League at the moment. So we're going to need something special to get some points against United. But I will see you in seven days for that United game. Okay, so this is the team we're going to line up with for the Manchester United game. We are away, so we're going to Old Trafford. We're going to play the away formation, which I've slightly tweaked and changed based on last time's performance. I've showed both of them, actually. Um, but I'll go for the team, then we'll go through the total tweak. So we're going to go with Ordero in the back. In, the back, in goal. Cresswell at left back. Saar, Ogbonna and Williams as the rest of the defence. I was thinking about bringing Matillo in. Uh, 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 I'm going to bring him onto the bench because Cresswell did make the most of mistakes last time. So we'll see how that goes. We've then got Janssen. We're going to play Viveros for his debut and Mbeo. He might not play a debut against Man United. Then Payet, Dolberg and Joel Linton up front. Viveros coming in. Not quite match fit. 90% is good enough. Replacing um, John Swift who actually falls out of the subs bench. As I want to play Josh Cullen I think. I've got Rossiter, Cullen and Domingos Quina who between themselves should be able to fill any of those four positions so we'll go with those guys the tweaks we've made so the away formation we've still got hit crosses on earlier we're going to play on counter um and we have just take it down to mixed um passing and i've mixed the crosses back up again i put them on low and then when i looked at it again i realized that dolberg's actually six foot two so i mean some high crosses won't go and miss so i don't think that's really been without wingers we've not been putting too many crosses in we do a lot of the uh, goal line crosses so and then on the home formation, what I've done is just knock the passing down to um, mixed and put work the ball into the box because that seemed to work. That's what we played against Arsenal and that's what we won with. So we'll go with that. But we will start away. We're going to start on counter. This is the team we're going for. Ogbonna taking the captain's armband again. So Man United sitting second there. Liverpool above them, interestingly. Line up with a 4-4-1-1. Let's just have a look at Dybala. So he is a complete forward. He is very good. Look at that first touch, agility, balance. Is there anything he's not good at? Okay, so he's not going to head. He's not going to head the ball. Very agile, fluent, like it's right. So he's quick. He's quick and he's agile. He's got good first touch, poor heading. So we don't need to mark him tightly because he's not going to win a standing header. But we do need to close him down. Oh, man, he's going to be a pain, whatever we try and do, isn't he? So let's go into the opposition instructions. He's the only one we're going to mark up, I think. So we're not going to tight mark him because he will run us ragged. But we will close down. We will tackle him hard. And we'll leave that for now. See where we go from here. Right, let's go for a calm. Pick up where you left off last time. And we get the game underway. We are on the white kit, in our away kit, shooting from left to right as... Man United come forward, there we go. Cleared the ball. 
And is this going to be the first heart good? Highlight over. Whew, that's a worry. So let's keep an early eye on these stats. See what happens. Possession has gone to United, as would be expected. As they come forward here, Pogba's in the box. Whoa! Where the hell did that come from? That was a thunderbolt. So what happens here? So Rashford throws the ball in. Mata lays it off to Verratti, who lays it up to Pogba, who turns. What? How is he getting that much power? Jeez. Well, no one was stopping that one. I don't I don't mind about that goal. That was not too bad, was it? It's got a thunder foot. Okay, so passes. Our passes completely aren't looking great. Tackle's good. Head is good. Pass completion, not so great. Pavon here coming forward. And that's it. Long shots. We'll take those all day. Ordero's picked up the ball. Is that the end of the highlight? Oh, that was the end of the highlight. And a corner to Man United again. Ah, oh, they've scored from a bloody corner. Bonucci making it 2-0. I might actually flick to retain possession. Let's try and get... Oh, Dero, what are you doing? Didn't even jump. Yeah, if I flick to retain possession... I still want to leave it on mixed passing. Let's try and get that pass completion ratio up. Maybe we'll then increase possession. And if we've got the ball, they've not got the ball. So, Joe Linton, Janssen... Dolberg ah, gets tackled. Faveros comes in though, clears up. And Bayo, this is looking not too bad. Williams, can he put a cross in? He can. Joe Linton scores a goal. Great goal. 2 1. Now, if we can hold on to possession and do that again, that'd be lovely. So, Williams out on the right hand side here. Puts a ball in early. And Linton on the volley or half volley. Lovely shot. I mean, it wasn't as powerful as the uh, Pogba goal, but I think technically it was much better. Cresswell and Ogbon are not having good games at the moment. I knew Cresswell. I knew that's why I put Matillo on the bench. Well, a few players actually having a bit of a dodgy game. But we have made it to half-time. Only one goal behind. We have been unlucky. So let's give him a... You've been unlucky so far. Relaxed and motivated. Exactly what we want. Let's see if we can go out there. Sneak another goal. First highlight of the second half was nothing. Always. I forget about the kickoff highlights. Okay, Cresswell's still not playing great. Neither is Mbeo. They keep tottering in and out of 6.5s and 6.6s. Saar clears the ball up to Joe Linton now. Right, can we slow the play down a bit? Dolberg's got the ball. Loses out to Verratti. We've got no pace when it comes to coming forward. When it hits those strikers, they need to hold it up. Pavon's done his man here. Oh, he's done a second. Fluff that shot. But shouldn't be breezing past two defenders as he just did then. And highlights continuing. Bloody hell, Ogbonna's on the ball. Williams. Big ball. Oh, over the top. Dolberg, one on one. <laughs> what a vision there from Williams. That was route one football. And Kasper Dolberg slots it away. Look at this. Williams, what a ball that was. Dolberg's behind the Man United defence. Holds off that defender. Left footed, puts it past the goalie. 2-2. Two -two. Well, I never... Right, since so Cresswell's still playing bad, let's bring him off because I feel like he's going to let us down. Matillo comes on. Dolberg's looking frustrated. That's not so good. I will leave it like this for now. Just the one change. We'll watch him Bayo. If he drops down again, I'll bring on Rossiter. As United come forward here, long throw, but Odero collects. Is that the highlight? Matillo's got the ball. Big ball forward. Doesn't find its man, though. As United come forward, Andrea Horta, Pogba into Rashford. Rashford's cut inside. Janssen cuts out the ball. Lovely bit of play. Dolberg now. Ah, should have played that quicker. Pavon, he's always a problem, isn't he? Puts a ball in. Oh, they've... Oh, God, they hit the bar. And Wagstaff, whoever that is, fluffs the second. And Aldero clears it. Why is he clearing it like that? What a plonker. Rude Janssen, no. Picked up a knock. He's been playing outstanding. He has been brilliant. Even that advanced playmaker role as well. Right, let's think about this before we make this up. Do we put Cullen on? Domingos isn't really that midfield centre. He's more of the Payet role. Let's bring on Cullen. And we'll go from there. Two assists from Jordan Williams today. Absolutely outstanding. Dolberg clears. That was lovely. Pyatt, Linton. Can he lay it off? He has. And bayo has got space to run into. He gets taken out by Bonucci, though. And that really fizzled out. We could have had a lot more there. 
Quarter comes forward. Wagstaff over Matillo's head. Pavon puts the ball in. Oh, and they've come and got the goal. 3 2. Bollocks. Ben Wagstaff. Regen for United. Pavon here out on this right hand side. Puts a thunderous ball in, which just comes off of the defender. Doesn't know what's happening. Pings around, and Wagstaff puts it away. 3 2. 15 minutes left. Not sure if we've got enough in the tank to pull something else out here. I mean, we're 3-2 down with 10 minutes to go. Do we go for a cheeky attacking? Throw the guys forward. Let's go for it. I mean, 3-2 or 4-2 is not really a problem for us, is it? But a draw against United and a win against Arsenal, that is something to shout about. Three minutes left. Let's make one last sub. Who is... Veros is looking frustrated. That's never good because you could get sent off with a yellow card there, couldn't you? Let's bring him off. Let's put on Rossiter. Or oh, no. Yes. I was just thinking, do we bring him on? Do we bring on Domingos in for Payet? Payet's only playing at 6.8. Everyone around him playing a bit better, apart from Mbeo. But he's looking motivated. Let's do it. Let's see if out of nowhere Domingos can come on. He, he's good. He's got a good. I think he's got good dribbling stats. So he does like to take people on and has got a couple of outside of the area wonder goals. I mean, I'm going for all this. I imagine <clears throat> we're not going to get any highlights. Williams on the ball here in Bayo. Ogbonna. They're pinning us back a bit. Ogbonna plays it off of Veros. Ah, and that's full time. 3 2. Not bad at all. That was. Good result. We're un we're unlucky not to to come away with a draw there. Don't be harsh. Leaves us in tenth, but that's not too bad. Man United go top. <sighs> Paul Pogba, that goal from Paul Pogba was ridiculous. So take that out. Two two draw. We'd have been we've been laughing. So what have we got now? Let's have a look at the schedule. <clears throat> so we're sitting tenth in the Premier League. We did beat Arsenal. We've lost to United, but gave him a good game. Three two. So that away formation will test out against some lower opposition um, and see how it goes. But what we got, so we've got Norwich, Middlesbrough, Watford in the EFL Cup fourth round. Do we go for quite a long one? One, two, three, four. We could do a, a Liverpool derby and Everton, Liverpool as the next game, which gives us a nice break then before we hit Man United. Oh, where does that put us actually? Yeah. Let's come back. We'll come back for the Everton, Liverpool game. Everton currently 19th, Liverpool second. So... Very uh, contrasting performances there. One point, Everton, and Liverpool fighting United for the top of the uh, the top of the table. Arsenal there in 15th below us. That makes me happy. So yeah, we'll do that. We'll come back for the Everton Liverpool games in about five games time, and I will leave you there. So if you have enjoyed the episode, please do smash the like button. It's always good to get a win over Arsenal. Come on. Um, if you are new to the channel, please do subscribe. 50 episodes is pretty good. If you're new on this on this 50th episode, that's a bit weird, actually. But if you've just caught up later on, hit like button. That'd be nice to see. You're spiking likes later on in the, uh, the year. But I hope you have enjoyed. I will see you next time. Have a good evening. Bye-bye.